Hello everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Hatoful Boyfriend. Last we left off, Nageki was speaking to Hitori slash Kazuaki Nanaki. Oh boy. Hitori, I never asked for you to come for me. I never asked for you to exact revenge. Who was it? Nageki. It was Nageki. I died because of you. You abandoned me here. I never wanted to come here. It was you who killed me. You killed me. You killed me. You killed me. Ooh. I will not forgive Hitori. I'm sorry, Nageki, but I know that no apology will ever fix it. Sir, what? There is a shadow in Hitori's heart. His own shadow, pretending to be mine. Come for me, Hitori. I'm here. I know, I know. I don't want to be alone. I don't want you to be alone. You will never forget me. You can live. You will live with me. You will live with your sin forever. That's what you want, isn't it? If you want me to carry this pain, I will, Nageki. I won't ask for forgiveness. I won't. He's crying. Tortured by his own shadow. I'm sorry, Nageki. I'm sorry. Hitori, I don't want you to be in pain. He's trying to destroy his feelings of guilt. He wants to be saved. If you're here, his pain will go away. Help me save him. Yes. And this is a very interesting sequence. Hitori, I was tortured by them here, in this place. It was terrible. Isa and the others should die in pain. All of them should die. As long as they live, my pain will never disappear. Mr. Nanaki. Hmm. I don't think it really ultimately matters too much, but... Revenge will solve nothing. Sir, you and Nageki both lost those most important to you to strife. You should know best of all people that revenge helps no one. It brings no happiness, only pain. If I hadn't been there, Nageki would never have died. I was never there when he needed me. I'm sorry, Nageki. If I had been better, this would never have happened. Everything would have been fine if you'd never met me. If I hadn't been there, you never would have felt pain. Sir, why? Why do you think he was sad? The time Nageki spent with you was his greatest treasure. I know how wonderful it is to be able to be together with loved ones, too. Nageki is glad he got to be with you, sir. There's nothing to regret. Come with me, Hitori. Look at me, Hitori. Hear only my voice, Hitori. I will tear your heart to pieces. And when it heals, I will tear it again. And again. And again. That is your punishment. It will be wonderful to live with me again. You just described how you're going to tear him apart. Wonderful. Just because you repeat it doesn't make it true. Hitori. There's only one option here. Please, Hitori, listen to me. The voice you hear is that of your own shadow. 
You have been hurting yourself all this time. Stop blaming yourself. I don't want to see you in pain. You asked me for two things, Nageki. The first was, come save me. So I... Listen to me, Hitori. Alright, again, no option. My first wish was for you to make my body disappear from this world. As long as I live, as long as my body remains, someone will try to use the Sharon virus. That virus must disappear, and my body with it. It will bring only sadness, as long as it remains. You asked for one other thing. You asked me to take revenge on Dr. Issa. On all those who brought you pain. Yes. I need to grant this wish. I need to... Hitori! No, Hitori. That was not my wish. Remember, Hitori. Remember my final wish. It's not about whether you're doing anything or not. You're part of the family, and we need you. That doesn't help. With my body like this, I can't work or go to school. That's just how it is. You're thinking too hard, Nageki. Let's go pick some millet in the yard. It's almost dinner time. A full stomach scares the bad things away. Right? Mm. What a beautiful sunset. I guess it's autumn already. Are you cold, Nageki? I'm fine. Hitori. Hm? It would be easier for you without me, right? Why do you think that? I heard you and the others talking about it. Medicine costs a lot more than food. You're paying for it out of your salary, right? If you had that money to yourself, for yourself, you could buy better food. You wouldn't have to work so much. So, you would be better off without me. Don't say that, Nageki. I don't care about fancy food or free time. You're more important than any of that. You mean more to us than you think, Nageki. You were very young when you came here, so maybe you don't remember, but... Losing family is hard. I want to stay like this, watching over the people I love, forever. So listen, maybe it looks like I'm working just for you, but it, it's for me too. Seeing you happy makes me happy. Thank you, Hitori. I just wish I wasn't such a burden to you. Stop that already! You've never been a burden to me. Here, have some millet. Eat well and we can sleep well too. Let's hope for good dreams, okay? It is a lovely sunset. And ultimately, what a, an awful tragedy. I hope we can stay with everyone like this forever. Yes. Are we moving forward here? Yes. My second wish was... Live, Hitori. Live and be happy. Well, I don't think he's succeeding in that one. Nageki, I can't be happy. You're gone. I can't be with you anymore. Look at me, Hitori. I want you to live. You don't have to feel guilty for me. I couldn't tell why I was still here. At first I thought my remains, the parts of me that are inside Mr. Kawara now, were keeping me here. But I don't think so now. I think I was worried. Worried that you wouldn't be able to keep going alone. I can't, Nageki. I can't go on without you. I don't want to live without you! We stayed here too long, Hitori. We have to move on. Don't worry. We'll meet again, somewhere, sometime.
Mr. Kawara. Thank you. So yeah, Nageki just possessed Ryota, and yeah, anyway. Kawara, are you unhurt? Yeah, I'm fine. How unexpected. If it were me, your insides would have divulged themselves and their secrets long ago. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Nanaki, I will not forgive this mad- Don't worry about it, Sakuya. It's already over. We need to get out. We're already out of time. Indeed. Nageki was kept frozen here, right, Doctor? Indeed he was. The facility was sealed off, so it was hardly difficult to keep people from snooping around. I'm staying here with Hyoko. Wait, what? What are you saying, Kawara? Come with us at once! I see. Kawara. I thought you would say that. The Sharon virus has by now colonized your body quite completely. Were you to leave, any humans you encountered would suffer a painful death. What? Was this your plan all along, you conniving physician? Surely there was a way to remove the virus! Alas, that would be impossible with current medical technology. Once established in the body, it is quite tenacious. Even if we were to remove the tissues from Mr. Fu Fujishiro, Mr. Kawara would still carry the virus. Madness! Lunacy! The same goes for Miss Tasaka's damaged brain. It is currently preserved inside a glass jar, but just barely. Indeed, given Labor 9's behavior and subsequent damage she was dealt, there's no guarantee that her personality and memories are still retrievable. With current medical technology, anyway. Shiragane, let's go outside. Do you mean to leave Kawara here? How deep does your selfish nature run? We'll come back for him. It's impossible now. But one day we may be able to remove the virus from his body. I think that Nageki would say the same. Well, Mr. Shiragane, I think that I think perhaps you would do well to respect Mr. Kawara's thoughts on the matter. I feel as if this one day has brought an entire lifetime's worth of fatigue. I just want to sleep for a little while. I'm worried about Mother. Sakuya, could you tell her I'll be back one day? Listen, Kawara. I, I love, No, I never go back on my words. No matter how long it takes, I will come back for you. I swear. So, promise me, please. Promise me that you leave this place with me alive. Right. I promise. I'll be waiting for you. And there's actually... I'm gonna pause, so to speak, a little bit here just to say... There's actually two endings to this, depending on if you've actually unlocked all of the other playthroughs or not. I already have before I even started you know, recording my, my, uh, let's play here. So, there's actually an extended epilogue to this game, depending on if you've actually completed all of the different origins, all the different origins, the different, uh, playthroughs. Yes, that's right, there are 14 previous playthroughs that you have to go through. You have to unlock all of them in order to get the extra epilogue. So, fortunately, you guys are going to be able to see this here today. And yes, it is today. Today, this is the final episode! Hooray! Um, <clears throat> but yes, I just wanted to point that out, that I have invested the time and work to make sure that this playthrough is as smooth as possible, as I take a minute or so to explain how smooth and easy it is. Completely uninterrupted! Anyway. A lot sure happened today, Hiyoko. Does this mean we're finally getting into recap mode, Rieta? I'm half sick from being stuck out here, not even knowing what's going on. <laughs> yeah, I guess you only got to see bits and pieces of the story. Yep. So, will you fill me in, please? Hmm. I guess we have plenty of time for it. I'm going to miss eating udon. But having you here makes things at least a little better. Right? 
Where do I start? Everything that's happened, what's happening now, and everything that might happen one day. We have plenty of time to talk about it all. I think that's where the original playthrough ended. And we're gonna get the credits here. So, that was the Hurtful Boyfriend, aka Bad Boys Love route. Where a dating sim for birds became a murder mystery. Thank you, Moa, for creating this game on a whim for April Fool's Day. Thank you for going back and making it a million times better. So, this was then picked up by Mediatonic. <laughs> no birds were harmed in the making of this game, but my feels! Um, and they made an HD remake for Steam. I'm hoping they do the same with the sequel, Holiday Star. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Pigeonation Inc. Yay! So! Aww. Heartbreaking! Very tragic kind of closeout to the story. Madness! So this is the bonus scene that I was t referring to earlier. Why, if it's it, my darling little brother. Salutations! Wait, weren't, weren't you dead? You scum! You villain! Explain yourself! Why are you still alive?! Why? Well, for starters, I could never bring myself to leave all the ladies sad and alone. How much must you mock me before you will be satisfied?! Hello again. Leon? Truth be told, Leon here gave me an antidote. I was loitering around on the border between life and death, and he pulled me back up in a miraculous revival. But he said he was going to go recover your body! I do not recall saying I was going to recover his corpse. Lunacy! Madness! Inconceivable! Give it back! Give me back the time and mental energy I spent mourning you! You mourned me. I'm flattered. Gah! We can't stay long, Sakazaki Yuya. It's time to set out on our next bright and massive mission. This is your chance to regain the department's trust. Roger that. And it's called a sexy and suave. Ay. Coo coo! How can San fell smooth? There is deliciousness nearby. <laughs> Black Bean Donna. Coo, coo! Angel, do you have food? Ah, what did I. God, the demon spores encroach again! Coo! Stick em up! Okasan demands your beans or your life! So you appear, bone white bird of bean eating? By the oath of old, join me! And they're still going at it. Yeah, apparently. Hello, Shiragane. How are you? Uh, why are you, of all people, pushing Iwamine's wheelchair? I would never have expected to see you two together. Taking responsibility for injuries dealt to another party by tending to them seems to be a natural enough reaction to me. I need to apologize somehow, don't I? If you change your mind and decide it's time to exact revenge again, I will... N I never met either of you, understand? Come on, Shiragane. That would never happen. Probably. <laughs> How wonderful. I can feel the suspense in the air. Somehow I feel like attempting to apply ethical guidelines to either of you is completely futile. Anyway, I need to talk to you. I needed to talk to you. I had the results from the experiment the other day. There were no problems? None at all. It was a perfect success. Well, I guess that means it's time, doesn't it? 
I have the date. If you can come, please do. Interesting. What could they be referring to? Mr. Kawara. Mr. Kawara, Mr. Saka, can you hear me? Morning is almost here. Wake up, Kawar! Tosaka! I told you I wouldn't go back on your word. I wouldn't go back on my words. I wouldn't go back on your word either. <laughs> ah! And yeah, this is art from the artist and creator of this game, Moa, of all of the different characters as they are represented in her art style. Uh, as a side note, this is not the end! Like I said, there is actually a manga, there are multiple drama CDs, there is a web series, there are other games, actually, uh, that reference characters from this game, and there's a sequel, Holiday Star. Uh, I will eventually be uh, getting around to playing that as well, although I'm kind of hoping to wait and see if there's going to be the HD remake for Steam that I hope is going to be. But that's one of those things where if that does not come out in a timely fashion, I will be showcasing the original English translation from the Japanese translation version, which will be not so HD. Anyway, so this has been Hatoful Boyfriend. Was it what you were expecting it to be? Was it anything that you were expecting from start to finish? I mean, Sure, a lot of the same dating sim tropes were there, but... Dear God! <sighs> anyway, um, I want to give a quick shout-out to all of my patrons on Patreon. Your contributions have made Let's Plays like this one happen. You've kept me from the street with no exaggeration. Even if it's as little as a dollar, it's made a difference for me. So thank you so much. And if you're interested in becoming a patron, I will be including a link in the author's notes to this video to my Patreon. Just saying! Um, so thank you for joining me on this journey through Hatofa Boyfriend. And, you know, I, I really recommend playing through the game yourself, uh, making your own choices. I mean, I've showcased pretty much the entire game, but... Um, it's it's worth playing through just for the experience of it, and it's 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 an amazing game. I never would have expected when I first started playing this game ages ago, la well, last year anyway, um, that I would become this emotionally invested in birds. I did not expect that at all, and um, maybe I'm ridiculous. Maybe I'm a little crazy, but it's an amazingly well written story, and obviously. All of this shit, like, all of the stuff that's covered in, in the Hurtful Boyfriend route, that's all canon. Like, one is still Leon, is still Leon, you know? Yuya is still a French spy bird. All of these things still canonically happened, we just didn't see any of it in the dating sim portion of the game. That's what I love. And there's so much more backstory that hasn't even really been uncovered here. There is so much more to this universe, and I highly recommend reading the manga, finding the drama CDs, and, and figuring out everything else that's going on about this. Now, I think I've ranted enough about the wonder wonderfulness of this game. So, once again, thank you so much for watching. 